In today's video, we are going to look at some of the latest technology in WordPress hosting. Cloudways just recently launched their latest product, Cloudways Autonomous. This is a new kind of WordPress hosting that features auto scaling technology. Cloudways Autonomous is a very exciting prospect because I've never really seen a web host offer auto scaling technology at an affordable price and also with a setup process that's very easy to deploy. So now this opens the technology up to a much broader audience. Even fairly non-technical web designers are now going to be able to set up their WordPress sites with this technology. Now, this is going to have some big performance benefits for those of us managing WordPress projects that experience spikes in high traffic. This is particularly common for many e-commerce websites and a lot of learning management systems as well. So who is Cloudways Autonomous for? I would say the key use cases here are e-commerce, particularly where you're dealing with ticket sales and big promo events where you have many customers coming to the store concurrently at the same time and you get a big uptick in traffic suddenly and puts your server under a heavy load. The same thing often happens with learning management systems where you've got an online course, the course has just started and you've got a lot of students logging in at the same time. They all need to complete an assignment or a test at the same time, for example, and the server is going to be under a very heavy load for a short period of time. After that event is over, then it's going to be fairly idle for most of the time. So in these cases, auto scaling is the perfect solution. There's also the case of high traffic sites that experience sudden increases in traffic volume. This can be uh, often where you have to uh, provide live updates where suddenly there's a sudden interest in the site and you get a lot of traffic all at once. There's also sometimes you get an unexpected boost um, from a referral from like a large news website or if you end up on the front page of Reddit unexpectedly, you end up with a big surge in traffic like that. So in a lot of cases where you're dealing with your typical WordPress shared hosting or a small VPS, it runs fine most of the time when you've only got four, five, six people logged in at once, but all of a sudden you've got 50 or 100 people logged in at once, the server may tend to slow down or it might start sending errors to the users. And that's really a bad situation, particularly if you've done a lot of work to promote an event and you need to sell tickets right at that moment and the server starts crashing. That's bad news, but Cloudways Autonomous really handles this sort of situation perfectly. So while a typical WordPress shared host or a small VPS might become very slow and unresponsive, what Cloudways Autonomous will do, it will detect the extra load and it will deploy additional PHP workers to cover the extra load just when you need it. And then it will scale back down after the, the event is over. So this is a really efficient way of managing these issues. So typically in the past, these systems have been quite uh, expensive and complex to deploy. If you look at the traditional providers like Oracle, AWS, Google Cloud, I might actually head over to Google Cloud and I'll show you what I mean. For example, if we load up the Google Cloud pricing calculator, we can see that for a Kubernetes engine with five nodes running over the month, that's going to cost $2,000 a month. That's probably well outside of the budget for a lot of you. But um, doing this through Cloudways, they've obviously been able to deploy that across multiple users and um, share this cost down and make it much more affordable and also accessible. If you've ever used Google Cloud, you'll see what I mean with the interface. It's not, it's not a friendly way of doing things at all. And there's also some other like retail WordPress hosts that offer specialized managed uh, WordPress hosting or WooCommerce hosting. Um, but there's often a lack of detail, a lack of transparency behind what the real limits, um, what is the real um, backend technology that they're using. Some say that they provide auto scaling, for example, but what they're really doing is just um, pushing you onto a bigger virtual machine once you pass a certain uh, resource limit. So it might not be a real Kubernetes engine that you're getting, but um, this is really the first time I've seen someone offer a genuine Kubernetes engine at such an affordable price with that really easy Cloudways setup process. And the other thing I should mention is that uh, Cloudways Autonomous it synergizes with Cloudways' other features like um, Cloudflare and Object Cache Pro. Now I've covered those two um, in a previous video that I'll link to in the description. So overall, you're getting a very um, high-end performance that you can automatically scale as well through this uh, product. So I thought I'd move on to some WooCommerce load testing benchmarks. I think this really illustrates um, this product quite well. So here we've got Kinsta, WP Engine and Cloudways benchmarked against each other. These are probably the three big names in specialized managed WordPress hosting. 
Now there's plenty of web hosts on the market, even fairly cheap ones that can load a page in one second or less than one second. Um, provided there's only one or two users on the website, they can do it very quickly. What happens when we scale it up to 50 concurrent users? Now this is when websites will start to struggle. So here we can actually illustrate the difference. Um, Cloudways was able to continue handling carts doing um, over three, nearly four carts per second. And you've got WP Engine doing around two here and uh, Kinsta doing less than one. So what happens here is Cloudways is still handling this quite well. Like the average server response time is still under one second here. But when you've got 50 concurrent users, some of these other web hosts, they start to slow down. In the case of Kinsta, it takes 9.2 seconds for um, the server to catch up with that load. And the user experience really drops when someone has to wait nine seconds for their cart to process. It feels a little bit um, untrustworthy when the cart is taking such a long time. People might actually back out or maybe um, forget about buying the product at all when it starts to take longer than that. In the case of WP Engine, it keeps running fast, but what happens when the server is overloaded? Um, some of those checkouts are just gonna start failing. You'll see um, like a 502 error pop up and you'll have to go back and do the cart again. Again, that's gonna, um, some users are not gonna like that. They might even just uh, close the window and try and get the product somewhere else, for example. So um, you really wanna make sure that your auto scaling technology is gonna be capable of handling situations if you have, for example, 50 concurrent users trying to get through um, a shopping cart at the same time. So that's the result with 50 concurrent users. What if we scale it up even more? Now here we can see the results with 100 concurrent users on the load test. Now um, WP Engine and Kinsta are having some pretty serious issues in different ways here, but Cloudways is still uh, managing their requests fairly well, doing over six checkouts per second here. Um, the other two down around one. Um, the issue with Kinsta here is the response time has lagged out to 11 seconds. So that's really not a great user experience if you're gonna be taking 11 seconds to get through that checkout. Um, WP Engine is still running quickly, but the problem here is because the server's overloaded, 70% um, um, more than 70% of the requests are actually failing here. So if that's the case, the user sees the error, they have to go back into their shopping cart, try to go through the checkout process again. It's a really not a good experience. If you have to go through that again and you're getting errors, people really don't like that. So um, Cloudway is still managing to process these without significant errors in under one second. So that really, really illustrates um, the benefit of having Cloudways autonomous in these kind of situations. If you're interested in more details on these benchmarking results, I'll put a link in the description where you can check that out too. The other things I thought I'd mention, Cloudway support obviously has been really good throughout the time I've been with them. 24-hour um, chat, they've got ticket support as well. They have a net promoter score of 73. That means how likely are you to recommend this brand to your friends and family? 73 is um, excellent in this industry. Normally you see scores around in the 30s, anything over 30 is good. Everything, anything over 50 is quite excellent. So quite rare to see a score up that high. Um, you've got really enterprise grade security on Cloudways as well. I've talked about that in a previous video that I'll link in the description. You get enterprise um, DDoS protection and web application firewall through Cloudflare. And um, that is like enterprise grade security included in a fairly affordable price. And um, Talking about that price, very simple, transparent, predictable pricing, even with the auto scaling technology. Let's have a look at that. So the plans start from as low as 35 per month. You get one WordPress application install for that and around 30K unique visits per month. And those scale up accordingly, depending on how many WordPress installs you'd want and how much traffic you'd expect um, on your application. And setting this up is extremely easy. You just go into your dashboard. You've got your autonomous apps here. You just add an application, fill in your details, choose WordPress or WooCommerce, and away you go. Um, really, you can get this done in under five minutes and it's completely user-friendly. If you're interested in trying out Cloudways Autonomous, follow the link in the description to get started. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions or comments below and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.